Hi guys, I'm Mar. So today I'm super excited for this video because we are gonna be going to the best reviewed makeup artist in all of my city. And you guys know I already went to the worst reviewed makeup artist twice and one time I got scammed and the other time I got a makeup that I felt looked terrible, but some of you guys were like, it looks fine. And I was just like, what, am I crazy? But if you guys haven't seen those videos, go watch and let me know what you thought of the time I actually got my makeup done. Cause seriously you guys, I, 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 I mean, I don't, I, I don't know, it's strange because I really feel like she did a very bad job, but, but also it was $35, so I didn't have very high expectations. But this time I'm gonna be getting my makeup done by the best rated makeup artist, so my expectations are pretty high. But yeah, you guys, let's get started. Okay guys, so before we actually go and get my makeup done, I wanna put out a little disclaimer and that's that I'm pretty picky with my makeup and I completely admit that I am not a professional makeup artist at all, but I do love makeup. So I feel like I know a little bit about makeup. Like I know what's sanitary, what isn't, so I'm gonna keep an eye out for that but i thought it would be cool to do the best rated makeup artist because you guys yelp reviews are not to be trusted i can't stress this enough i've been to a few worst rated places that have actually been pretty nice and i've been to places with great reviews not for videos just in general and they've sucked so i'm just like how i feel a really good example of that is when i took burrito to this like puppy daycare and i just took him randomly it was not for a video or anything and they had like the best reviews and i had a really bad experience i ended up doing a story time about it because it was just like crazy and i'll leave that link for you guys to go check it out if you guys haven't but after i talked about that so many people told me that they had a bad experience at this place and yelp kept taking the bad reviews down so i don't know there's some conspiracy theories happening around yelp that i don't really know about but let me tell you guys about this girl so she has literally five stars and she has 317 reviews i did find a couple of like one star reviews but i guess it's like so few that it just averages out to five stars stars which is amazing so overall people just say best makeup artist ever they put pictures and honestly the pictures it looks really good like their makeup looks really pretty i see that she does really different makeup styles here another girl says i could not be happier that i found her here this other review says she is a true artist another one says had a great time got a blow i'm a makeup done for a night out by this person she was great she asks questions and makes sure that you're comfortable and happy with the final product this person says asian lady she knows how to do Asian faces, no joke. Okay, so there's really very few bad reviews, but I'll just put them out there so you guys know. One of the bad reviews says that she's overpriced, unprofessional, unconvenient. And she actually got a reply saying that she must have the wrong company because they never had an appointment with this makeup artist. And then another one said that she's heartbroken because she wanted to book her, but I guess like the makeup artist didn't want to book her back. She said, I'm sorry, but we did not feel that it would have been a good match. So I mean, clearly she has good business because she was just like, no, I don't want to work with you, which is amazing. I mean, it's good when you get to the point where you don't have to take a back client or like what you would consider a back client because you, you're you already doing so well. So yeah, I'm gonna head on over there you guys and see what happens. Wish me luck. Hey you guys, so we're getting ready to go. She asked me to come in with my face fully cleansed and with some moisturizer on. So that's what I have going on at the moment. I'm super excited because the makeup looked really nice in the pictures. And then over time she was, I mean, I guess I'll tell you guys about the text when we're in the car because we have a pretty long car ride ahead of us. So yeah, let's get going. All right you guys, so now that we're on our way, I I hope this is gonna be a freaking amazing makeup because it's gonna take us over an hour to get there. But according to Yao, this was the best place ever and I just had to go get my makeup done with her. So, I, I mean, my hopes are very, very, very high. So for me to get my appointment, it was a little bit complicated. I had my friend help me and he called and she wouldn't make the appointment with him. He was saying that he was my husband. So basically he was kind of pretending to be Gordo, but it wasn't Gordo. And she said that I had to call and that she needed to speak to me. And he was saying that it was like a surprise for his wife because of our anniversaries. Oh, I guess it's our, I guess you, you had to remember that you called. Okay. And try to make an appointment yeah. for me just in case. So she said that for sure I had to call and she needed to speak with me. So when I called, I was kind of like, hello, why do you have to talk to me? Well, I didn't say that, but I was like, is something gonna happen? But it was pretty chill. I have no idea why she kind of refused to make the appointment with him. But she was just like, yeah, let's make the appointment. And she pretty much just said to continue everything over text. So I was like, okay, you have to call her and then text her, which I mean, okay. A little bit complicated, but hopefully worth it. So then she texted me and at first she said she was not available for the time I asked. So she said she was available at another time and I will insert the screenshots for you guys. She said it'll only take her 45 minutes to do 
the makeup, which is great. And she says that she has a home makeup studio and she gave me the address. She said to my fake husband on the phone that the appointment was $100, but to me, she said $125. And I have no idea why there's a price difference, but there's a price difference. And then she asked me to confirm and I confirmed and she had me send the selfie. And okay, you guys, this is the part where I got really nervous because I was like, what if she recognizes me or something? Which I, I'm sure she wouldn't because why would she recognize me? But just in case. So I sent her the selfie and I try to look. I thought I didn't look at myself. Gordo says I look exactly like myself. I was like, I try to look like bad in the selfie or something. And so you kind of told me that I, 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 I look bad in general. Because I thought look I looked really bad in that selfie. And you were like, I just look like you. No, you look beautiful. <laughs> I'm joking. But when I sent her that selfie, her reply was, O M G G G G G, and I was like, no, no way. I was like exposed. But she said, oh my god, I was just texting you, lol. Then she just said that her two o'clock, which was the original appointment time, I wanted just opened up, and if I would like it, I was like, hell yes, because I'm already driving for an hour at two o'clock. I don't even know how long we would be driving if it was later. So I said yes, and then she was like, awesome, see you, doll. And she told me to come with a clean face. So that's what happened over text. Gordo said she was nice. Yeah, she's very nice. Yeah. I think she's really nice. She's always like, doll, sweetie, see you. I think it's gonna be great. All right, we're here. We're gonna go to her home studio. Hello? I, I think you're not so allowed to come. Me? She said they can pick you up in 45 minutes. Oh. Should we just like... Well, let's try. Oh, hi! Hi! Oh, hi, sorry. I was so okay. like... Hi. So, are you gonna come back? Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure we could just like sit here. No. Oh, I, usually, oh, okay. I usually like to have one on okay, one. Okay, you can wait in the oh, car. Okay. I don't, oh, no. you're gonna wait in the car? Yeah, no, I, I don't mind at all. No! I thought you were No, usually uh, they... Okay. Today. Usually people just get dropped off. But no, come in. Oh, I don't, I don't want you. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, well, oh, I don't want you being sure. No, come, come, come. Okay. Come in. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. <laughs> no. Sometimes they just get dropped off. Oh, but okay. if you're gonna wait in the car, no. Oh, okay. You just sit like here. No. Okay. Come on. Come on. <laughs> no, not even. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you. So you can sit here on the sofa, whatever, you, whatever. Okay. I'll, I'll just. For you. I'll just sit over here. So where are you going? Uh, well, we're doing dinner and then we're going to party because it's our anniversary. Your anniversary? Ours. <laughs> Wedding? Yeah. Oh, how many years? Five years. <gasps> That's exciting. Yeah. Where are you going to go? Have you been there? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's my favorite restaurant. Oh, yeah. We love it. Yeah. Yeah, love we love it. it. Yeah. The food is good and the ambiance is amazing. Yeah. Okay, so what are we going to do? Do you have any ideas? I don't know. Okay. Do you wear makeup? Yeah, heavy makeup. makeup? Yeah, I well, like heavy. So though. you're okay with glam? Yeah, oh, actually, I would love full glam because I never. Know. Okay, okay. Do you wear eyeliner? Um, sometimes. I don't recommend doing a wing liner on you. Oh, okay. you don't have the eye shape for it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's so many other things we can do that will be gorgeous. Okay. okay. So what I like to do is work on the eyes first. I recommend eyeliner on the top and smoking it out. Okay. But definitely not a wing. I actually, I love it. On the shimmer, like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. makes your eyes pop. And tonight, that shimmer's gonna go like bananas. Alright, my love, look at yourself. I love it. Oh, this is the. It looks great. My nose looks so good. Thank you. I feel right. transformed that you did it like 45 minutes later. That's a fun moment. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So it's 125, and if you want to um, add tip, you can add it on there as well. If not, don't worry. I love it. Well, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Oh my god, she was 
freaking amazing. She's like a miracle worker. She did my makeup so fast. It took her, I don't even think it took her 45 minutes. It was less than 45 minutes. It was like 30 minutes. When she was done with it, I was like, you're done? And guys, I personally really love this makeup. I think it was so good. And she was so nice. Honestly, she was fun to hang out with. She was like cool. I have nothing to say. I'm like, thanks Yelp. Okay, I guess there's one bad thing about her and that's that she won't travel to where you are unless it's five people. Cause I was like, come to my house, do my makeup every day, please. I love you so much. And then she was like, oh, only if there's five people. And I was like, <laughs> so can four of you guys come over to my house and then all five of us can have a little makeup party and she can do our makeup. Cause she's freaking amazing. I love her. But we're gonna do a little Sephora run right now. I'm filming another video. I'm gonna try and return fake makeup to Sephora you guys I don't know how it's gonna go but I'm gonna try and do that that's another video we're doing so check back you guys don't forget to like this video subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed already so you guys can see the next one but then we're gonna go home I'll show you guys the makeup with my studio lights and everything and the camera that's like really HD but honestly it's be I think it's don't you like it do you like it yeah you look beautiful do you think it looks better than my usual makeup yeah yeah it looks I'm like she was like, she honestly, I'll tell you guys all about it in a second, but she was so good. There was like, she was, she was great. All right, you guys, so I'm back and this is the makeup. I've been wearing it for maybe four hours now. I feel like it's held up just fine. I wanted to look at the foundation she put on me because I was a little bit concerned about my skin being so dry, but honestly, I think it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna insert two pictures right here for you guys. This is my before and this was my after. And let me zoom you guys in really close. I'm nervous to get that close, but we're gonna do it so you guys can see this makeup like really good all right guys so here it is you can see what she did i am very very happy with it it's so weird because you guys know i'm so picky with my makeup and i feel like i'm almost never happy but i am so happy this i it's just like some lip gloss i put on because what she put on me fell off because i was eating <laughs> i had some nutella beignets <laughs> worth it completely worth it but here you can see the glitter and then it's for sure not smudged at all but she did on my under eye and she did not use any liner she just used shadow and she did use fake lashes you can barely see that like you can't really tell i'm wearing fake lashes i feel like she picked the perfect lashes for me and she contoured my face there you can see the contour I honestly really, really like this makeup. So overall, I want to tell you guys some things that maybe you didn't see. And that's first of all, when we first came in, she was kind of telling Gordo to leave. And I completely understand because she was like, oh, usually people just get dropped off. And this was at her home. It was like her home studio. And she told us we could film there. And we were like, oh, no, we're not filming because <laughs> we didn't want to be exposed and have her realize what we were doing. But she was like, oh, you could totally film. Come closer if you want to film. She was very, very nice. I was personally very happy with the way she treated me. She was super cool. She like talked to me. She was really cool i mean i personally really liked her but yeah it was her home so i could understand how she would be like oh i don't want all these people coming in so when she said like oh he can pick you up later i told her like oh just go wait in the car and she was like oh my god no you can't have him wait in the car please come in so she was totally cool she had a new puppy there she was telling me about her son honestly she was really really great i'm a little bit confused with the reviews that talk about her attitude because i didn't feel like she had an attitude at all i guess i could kind of see how she has a strong personality so maybe like if somebody wants something done their way i see how she would be like no like what's Set her foot down because you know you have to do that when you're like a professional and i feel like there's sometimes clients that take it a little bit overboard so i don't know but from my experience she was really flexible she wasn't like oh no he can't come in she was super nice she was super sweet and then the makeup what i really love is that i feel she made it go with me i agree that she's a total artist because i feel like this makeup is done for my eye shape for my face shape i don't feel like she did something that she would just kind of like do on anybody i feel like she did it thinking of my features which is really what makes an amazing makeup artist and she did ask if i wore a liner and i was like yeah i wear like winged liner sometimes and she was like no stop doing that because she says like for my, my eye shape is not really flattering and i agree sometimes my winged liner looks really weird just because of like my kind of like droopy hooded eyes but i like the winged liner and i try and do it but it's true i mean it's probably not like the most flattering thing on me so she was like we're not doing that and i agree with her so it was all good as far as the price she did say it was 125 i don't really know how much a makeup artist should cost i know the worst review makeup artist i went to was 175 and i just ended up getting scammed out of 175 dollars so i don't really know i would love for you guys to let me know she also said when i was about to pay she was like oh it's 125 and if you want to 
add a tip, then you can also do that. And when she said that about the tip, I felt a little bit pressured to add a tip because I had had such a good experience with her. But honestly, I don't know. So I would love for you guys to tell me. I don't know if that's how it works because this wasn't at a salon or anything like that. So I wasn't sure why I would have to add a tip. I would just feel like she should tell me how much it is and that should just be the price of it. And I shouldn't have to add a tip. It should almost be like it's already included, if that makes sense. But again, I don't know if I'm saying something that's completely offensive to makeup artists out there. I'm sorry. I just have no idea. But I did tip her. I loved her work. I just feel that if you go and you're thinking, oh, okay, it's $125. At least personally, I didn't realize I had to add a tip on top of that just because of kind of like how it was set up. She was like, oh, just Venmo me. So I just figured she was telling me how much money I had to pay her. Not like, oh, Venmo me plus my tip. I hope this is making sense. But yeah, you guys, with Yelp, you never know what you're gonna get. When I went to the best right at Puppy Place, it was awful and it was like the worst experience of my life. And I ended up doing like a story time about that. I wasn't even trying to make a video. I just took burrito to that place and it was so bad. And I've gone to a whole bunch of worst rated places that have been amazing. So I'm happy this best rated makeup artist was so good. I will go back to her again. It would just be a little bit weird because I mean, everything I told her today was basically a lie. And I felt so bad having to lie. I was just trying to like get her to do what she normally does. I wasn't trying to get her to be like, oh, let me do a better job or something. But honestly, what she did was amazing. and I'm so happy. So. so you're awesome. I love you. Please don't hate me for lying to you and please do my makeup again because you, you're seriously, seriously incredible. But yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and also subscribe to my channel by clicking down there. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on any new video awesomeness. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one.